But first, our neighbors in Louisiana, hospitalizations have surged to record breaking levels. Julia Letlow became the first Republican woman to represent Louisiana in Congress, winning a special election after her husband died of COVID just weeks after he had been elected. His death also came two weeks before the vaccine was made widely available. CBS's David Begno spoke with the Congresswoman about her late husband and her message to those who are still unvaccinated. I would have given everything for that shot to be available for us. Congresswoman Julia Letlow's husband, Luke, had just been elected to Congress when he got sick. He looked at me and said, um, honey, I feel like I'm running a fever and my heart sank. He isolated upstairs in their home and she stayed downstairs with their children, Jacqueline, age one, and Jeremiah, three. He had no pre-existing conditions, so there was just no reason why uh, it had to go down that path, coughing nonstop. And by about the eighth day, he called me upstairs and just said, honey, I think it's time to go to the hospital. By that point, she says that 50% of his lungs were just filled with COVID pneumonia. And it all happened very quickly, where he was very aware and cognizant and um, speaking to people, and then um, kind of crossed over a threshold where I started to see um, the color drain. And that's when it hit me that he might not come home. When the time came to have the talk about whether to place him on a ventilator, Luke Letlow was ready. Every night before bed, we had this ritual where we say the blessing over our children as they go to bed. And that is? Uh, Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. I give you peace. I set that over him. Those were the last words. And I told him I loved him and I kissed him goodbye. Right now, the Congresswoman's state of Louisiana is seeing its worst surge yet in COVID infections and hospitalizations. And she started to take a look at the statistics in her own district in northern and central Louisiana. With few exceptions, every parish falls below 30% fully vaccinated. Some of the folks who were listening to everybody but the doctors. What do you say to them? People don't want to um, feel forced into anything. They don't want to be lectured to. They don't, you know, we are a very prideful, strong people in Louisiana. Someone asked, well, what would you, what would you tell somebody who was on the fence about possibly receiving the vaccine? And uh, I said, I'd tell them about Luke. I would tell him my story. So she and her team started thinking, what could they do to memorialize the stories of COVID's victims. We talked about it and said, well, well, let's put together this bill. It's the COVID-19 American History uh, Project Act that will provide a space to collect those stories for the Library of Congress. Luke Letlow is buried under this cedar tree next to his grandfather in Start, Louisiana. My plot is right next to him and all I want is a little footstone that says, and she followed up. <laughs> if the vaccines were to become available for children as young as your kids, would you get them vaccinated? On the first day. My prayer is that not one more person has to lose their life to this virus. We have the answer. Let's use it. David Begno, CBS News, Start, Louisiana. Letlow says it's just heartbreaking for her that people are refusing the vaccine. We asked you earlier this evening if you have changed your mind about getting the COVID vaccine. You can continue to weigh in on THV11.com forward slash vote. If you'd like to learn more about the vaccine or find out where to get one, all you have to do is text the word vaccine to this number on your screen, 501-376-1111, and we'll send you a link to those resources.